So I wanted to shoot a quick impromptu sort of video here because I thought this was pretty interesting and I thought you might find it interesting as well. So I have two resin printers here that I have left resin in for probably more than a month. Uh, I've kept the cover on them so that they weren't exposed to additional UV light of any sort. But my garage here, it has not been cool. Yeah, I keep it, you know, the temperature kind of goes up and down. I do have an AC, but I turn it off when I'm not out here. So the temperature has been all over the place. I have two vats of resin here, different types. This one's got the Soraya Tech resin in it. And this one has some Eco UV resin from any cubic. And so what I want to do, Will these printers still print with month old sitting out resin? Is it safe and is it okay to leave the resin in the printer when you're not using it? Um, again, I don't have any sort of vat covers or anything in here. I just wanted to see if this works because I think it's a huge pain that if you want to do the occasional resin print that you have to empty it out, clean it out, go through all that hassle for one print. So. If this works, this is a big deal to me because it sure saves me a lot of work. Um, if it doesn't work, then I guess I've learned my lesson and you will too. So uh, let's go ahead. I'm gonna go and show you this one over here. We'll take a look at what the resin looks like. This is a green translucent resin. I will go ahead and make sure I basically mix it up really well in the vat. We'll see what it looks like and then I will start a print. I've got a cooling duct on my USB stick here that I want for my Ender 5 Plus. Thought it would be a really good thing to print in resin, so I'm gonna give it a shot in that cool uh, translucent green. And then over here, I'm going to print a couple of statues, and we're gonna see how it does with this resin that's been left out. Um, I might have to add a little bit of what's been in the bottle to it if there's not enough to do the whole print, but I'll take a look at that as we go. All right, here we are with the vat of green resin. I am overexposing this shot just a little bit probably because I want you to be able to see the resin. And we're going to stir it up. This is a pretty stable resin. As you can see, the colors have not really separated. Um, again, too bright. Let me see. Yeah, there we go. Colors have not really separated. But if we kind of stir this up, let's make sure nothing has stuck to the bottom. And then it will get, stir up. It will get stirred up. Stirred up? It will get more stirred up when it actually goes to do the print because of course the smushing and mashing of the print plate into the resin vat will stir it up more. So that's pretty good. I think that this will be enough resin for what I'm printing. If not, I'll add it as I go. That's what that resin looks like. I'm going to cut this on, begin the print. We'll see what it looks like when it's done. And I'm also going to get going with it. So I tech resin as well and we'll take a look at the results. Alright, both of the printers are done here, so let's take a look at how it came out. And this one looks to have a complete print on it. And this one is actually this machine's second print. This is the first one. Complete, everything came out just like it was supposed to. It's a nice print. This one is a beautiful looking print. Of course, I won't be able to tell either one of these until they get cleaned up and actually, you know, make it into the curing and everything. And then we can take a look at the finished product. So to answer the question, will they print after sitting here for so long? I think the answer is clear. Yes, they will print. 
Now, as long as there's no degradation of the resin and everything still looks really good as we get it cleaned up, then I have to say this was a big success. And as long as you keep the machines closed and um, free from the UV light, then they should do just fine. Because, like I said, the temperatures in this garage have been pretty extreme, at least in the hot to normal room temperature direction. So let me, I guess, let me go and get these cleaned up real quick. And then from there, uh, we'll just take a look at the final results. Alright, so I've got three models here that I just printed off of these two machines, and to be honest with you, I can't tell any difference between these models and the ones that I normally would print on these machines. Doesn't seem that, at least in my case, with these two different resins, those two different resins, that it made any difference at all that they had been sitting out for a month. There was a lot of settling which is pretty much the same thing that's going to happen in the bottle and why you have to shake them up before you print with them. But other than that, they seem to print just fine. And this was sure a lot easier for me than having to clean these out every time before I put them away, not to use them again for maybe a couple of weeks or even a month while I'm printing other things on other printers. So is this going to work for me? Absolutely. This is what I'm going to do from now on. If I have any change, of course, I'll report it to you. But this is my testing. I'm really happy with the results, and uh, I appreciate it. If you haven't done it already, go ahead and hit subscribe. Click like on this video if you enjoyed this and want to see more content like this. Other than that, as always, I'm Chris, and this has been Curzy Fabrications. I will see you next time. <music>